to David Steinberger, uh, the owner of Steinberger Floors, Inc. Uh, it's so uh, great of you to have us here today. Uh, we're, we're, we're honored as a, as a group to be in your, your small business and the jobs that you're creating in this community. Um, it, it, it's just outstanding. So thanks for having us My today. My pleasure. And uh, I know it, it's been family owned and operated, what, since 1980? Yes. This business. And uh, how many people do you, do you employ, sir? 22. 22 folks. That, that's great. Uh, well, well, thank you for having us, and we're, we're looking forward to hearing what you have to tell folks about your business and what it's like to compete in Pennsylvania today. Um, I wanted to make this uh, point, folks, um, a couple of important, uh, important uh, notions. First of all, the folks behind me, uh, members of the House uh, Republican Caucus, we're members who are in touch with our communities all throughout Western Pennsylvania. We're, we're friends and know exactly what small business persons like Dave Steinberger go through, making sure that he's meeting payroll, making sure that he's competing appropriately, making sure that he's contributing to the community. These are folks that are making the economy happen. You increase the personal income tax or the sales tax in the what a, the governor originally wanted a 20% increase in the personal income tax, a 10% increase in the sales tax, and an expansion of the sales tax to a wide variety of items. He wanted to grow spending in two years' time by $13 billion. $13 billion. Folks, what we did in the state legislature is, is we put not one, not two, but three responsible budgets on this governor's desk. We put the first budget on June, right on time, just as we did for the past four years when we took back the majority, right on time. And that budget spent 3.2% more than last year's budget. Now think about this. And the governor vetoed it in total. A responsible budget, increased education spending uh, for K through 12. The rate of growth in the economy in the United States today for 2015 is less than 1%. The rate of inflation is less than 1%. I'm sorry, but what businesses are increasing their expenditures by 3.6%? Their, 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 uh, their, their expenditures by 3.6% in, in, in a down economy, and then we're going to go and tax them and take more money from them? The, the third budget we did was 3.6%. The first one was 3.2%. We put a compromise budget on the governor's desk. Now, he signed this last one right before the holidays, but less than a little less than 90 percent but throughout the process unfortunately he's held held those folks that received those dollars he's held them hostage for no reason whatsoever 70 percent of the uh, of the agreed upon expenditures could have been signed into law right from the get-go and uh, i think the whole budget should have been signed into into effect now we passed a budget that did not increase taxes at 30.2 Governor, as I said, signed 87% of it. What we need to do from this point forward is to continue to protect small business owners and families all throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and we can close this 2015-2016 budget together by just coming to an agreement on what those last monies are. He vetoed again for hostage-taking pur purposes, unfortunately, uh, basic education funding, uh, payments to Medicaid, and payments to corrections. Now, I do have to say one thing about some of the costs. You have to understand this, because people don't get it. What has continued to increase, the mandated increases, quote unquote, are primarily driven by the costs and contributions to public sector pensions. In this 15-16 budget, the contributions uh, to the the uh, PEASERS, the teachers' pensions alone, went from $1.3 billion to $1.725 billion on an annual basis. Keep in mind that, that that is the result directly of some policy decisions that were made by another governor that never got a budget done on time, Governor Rendell, and who increased spending over eight years' time by about 50% when the rate of inflation was about 20%, and who also deferred payments to the uh, pension systems and put them on, on uh, taxpayers today so that he could spend more. 
Fiscal responsibility has started in the legislature with three responsible budgets, and the governor should have signed the first budget and should have signed certainly the last budget in total, and we would not have any crisis here today. We've been out there protecting small business owners like this good gentleman here. Thank you very much.